turbines have become a part of the landscape in many places, but as the number of new turbines increases, the awareness of the community regarding the noise emitted by the turbines also increases. Depending on the regulations, this can restrict the construction of new wind parks or force them to run at reduced power. To overcome this problem, several manufacturers have adopted the use of training accelerations at the tip of the wind turbine blades. To study training accelerations is the goal of my research, and today I'm going to tell you how it works from the Anacoic Wind Tunnel facility at TU Delft. Hi, my name is Lorenzo Tercio and I'm a PhD student at the Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands. So, part of the noise generated in a wind turbine is actually related to the way the air flows close to the blades. As the air passes through a section of the blade, a thin layer of lower speed flow is formed that defines a transition between the air speed away from the blade and the blade speed. This transition region is called the boundary layer. At high speeds, the boundary layer presents a turbulent flow, where this air speed is constantly changing direction and mixing, generating fluctuations of velocity and pressure in time. In the wind tunnel, we can demonstrate this phenomenon using a stethoscope. As the flow passes through the blade section, the stethoscope that is now far away from the model does not capture any pressure fluctuation. As we approach the stethoscope to the wind and we enter the boundary layer region, we can clearly hear the pressure fluctuations caused by the turbulent flow. These fluctuations only turn into acoustic waves that we hear when they reach the sharp edge or trailing edge of the blade in a process known as trailing edge noise scattering. This computer simulation shows how the pressure fluctuations inside the boundary layer arrive at the end of the blade section and how acoustic waves are propagated apart from it. Uh, the principle of noise reduction by trailing edge serrations is based on the simultaneous noise generation on a regular straight trailing edge. Noise is higher at the regular trailing edge because the fluctuations from the boundary layer will arrive at once and therefore all the energy will be scattered or released at the same time. So instead, if the geometry of your blade trailing edge is not straight, but it features a certain angle in respect to the flow, the scattering will happen at different time instants on the different portions of the trailing edge, and consequently, the total noise will be reduced. For example, this is how the wind tunnel section that we showed before sounds without serrations. And now, with serrations. What you hear is equivalent to a perceived noise reduction of 4 dBs. Of course, there are much more oscillations that we have not discussed. Several parameters can impact noise reduction, for example, the size and the shape of the serrations can be optimized according to the wind turbine design. Also, as the wind speed changes along the day, so the angle between the blade and the airflow changes, and the serration is subjected to a different condition. Here at TU Delft, we study the importance of the flow over the serrations in the noise emitted. Measurements of the flow are carried out using 3D particle image velocimetry. This technique combines particles mixed in the flow and illuminated by a laser and several high-speed cameras recording and identifying the path of these particles. In this way, we can recreate in space and time the changes in the flow speed close to the serrations. These experiments are combined with measurements of the pressure at the serrations using miniature microphones and of the noise using a microphone antenna with a total of 64 microphones. With the antenna, we can locate the noise sources and quantify the noise emitted by the model. The results combined indicate how the changes in the flow around the serration also impact the noise. Importantly, as the angle between the serration and the flow is increased, the noise reduction is degraded for a regular sawtooth serration. Different designs have proven more robust and are not so drastically affected by the different flow conditions, being therefore more suitable for the real-world application. In the future, these results can be used to improve and guide the design of trailing edge serrations, creating geometries that will reduce the noise produced even further so the number of wind turbines can silently continue to grow.